In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Optimize Press, a very well-known page builder, to build your opt-in or landing page. So once you have installed and set up Optimize Press within your WordPress account, you'll see that on the left-hand menu, you can see this Optimize Press and go to Create New Page. And you will see the page that I'm seeing right now where you can choose a variety of templates to begin with. So as you can see here, Optimize Press gives you a general selection of any opt-in page templates that you can choose from. But for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. So if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see that you can start with a blank page. So let's start off with the first template and let's just choose this one and click on the green button. Use this template. You'll be prompt to name your page and I'm just going to give it a name. I'll just call it test for the fun of it. But of course, you will want to give this a proper name yourself. So once you're done, click create page. The live editor shows up. Now, please note that this page is currently in a draft mode. So be sure to set it to published when you are back at the pages afterwards. So before you get started, you should take a look at the menu on the left. So let's go step by step. We'll start off with layout settings. And you'll see that you can actually add the header navigation or footer area, but for the purpose of this landing page, there's no need for this at all. So I'm gonna leave this alone. You can also edit the color scheme settings. The most important thing you want to look at is probably the overall page color options where you can change the background color or the hyperlink color. But personally, I prefer to leave this alone. And it's always ideal to have your background page color either white or a light color like light gray. So I'm going to leave this alone as well. And hyperlink colors are always best left with default blue. So again, I'm going to leave this alone. Next is the topography settings. And this is where you can get a little bit fancy. You can especially change the team text paragraph styles where you can change the size of the fonts, which is the standard words and the color. The same goes for the heading styles as well. But right now, I'm gonna just leave this alone as well. But I'll have you know that especially the team, um, H1 heading styles, H2 heading styles, and maybe furthermore, you can have this edited and give a certain standard look and feel throughout your website. But I'm gonna leave this alone for now. Next up is the page settings. This is gonna be important afterwards because when you advertise on Facebook ads or even Google AdWords, you will be required to add in some third party scripts to the page. So where you're gonna put this is gonna be in the other scripts and this is where you're gonna be adding the codes and save it here, okay? So I'm just giving you a heads up in advance. Now you don't have to bother with the rest like membership settings, content templates. Now all these are not important at all. You won't have to look at them. So let's get started. Now the very first thing you need to do is click add new row. And you see that there are many types of rows you can add. But most of the time you'll be using either the one column or two columns. And the premise of the landing page is quite simple. So you'll be using one column click insert into page. And you will notice that you can now add element. But before we get ahead of ourselves, you see that when you hover your mouse here, there's this edit icon, click on it. What I want to draw attention to is this thing called, is it a full width row? You'll want to have this ticked at all times so that it's going to prevent something very strange from happening where you start seeing small little white bars between the rows. You want to prevent that from happening. So click Take this and you can pretty much ignore the rest until here. Top padding and bottom padding. I like to put a certain number here like 50 and 50 pixels so that there is some kind of space in between the rows so they don't look too cramped. So I normally put about 30 to 50 in value over here. Okay, now if you want to add in a background image is optional but personally I like to keep my landing pages clean, neat and fast loading. So I'm going to leave all this alone right now. 
So don't be intimidated by the sheer amount of properties that you can tinker with. Just know that it's a very powerful page builder, but let's operate on simplicity. So click update and you'll notice that there's a little bit of space right now. It'll be more prominent afterwards as you add another row or two. So the first thing we're going to add here is an element. And you will notice that there is a lot of elements that you can add. If you are new to Optimize Press, then this might be intimidating. However, let's keep it simple and straight to the point. So the one thing I want to add here right now is the headline. So I'm going to click headline. And you will see that there are also a few styles of headlines that you can add. But let's go with the standard one here right now. So this is going to be the first thing you're going to add on your page. And let's try to reconstruct a very similar page that you have seen in another video. So I'm going to just call it free book, discover four easy steps to making five figures per month online. Now I know the headline could be better of course, but this is just an example. And let's just do it that way. So you can underline certain words by clicking, pressing Control U or command you if you're using Mac. And you see there's a custom font settings. You can modify it any how you want. And further down, you see there's this thing called a headline tag where you can put as H1, H2, or H3. If you remember just now in the typography settings, when you set a certain style for a certain headline tag, then it will act accordingly. So let's just go with headline one or H1 in short. And this should be the biggest appearing font on the website or the web page. Let's click insert and there we go. Looks just nice. We'll keep it that way. So the next up, by the way, before I get ahead of myself, you'll want to save your work regularly. So click on save and continue before you continue definitely. Okay, so next up, you will want to add, let's try adding another row. So click on add new row and let's add Two columns this time and send it to page and you'll notice that you can now add elements into two different columns and they are equal so let's edit the row first is it a full width row as mentioned earlier yes you want to take this and top padding let's put 50 and 50 again again you can feel free to manipulate the values any how you want that's just my personal preference so i'm not going to change anything else i'm going to click update and over here, I'm going to click on Add Element. Let's try adding an image this time. So search for image, or you can just scroll down, look for it, and click on Images. You'll notice that there are a few types of styles you can add, but I like to keep things simple. So over here, you want to click on Select File, and you can drop an image file over here. All right, but because I've already used um, quite some images before, I'm going to use one as an example. But if you're using a new WordPress, then obviously you should be adding a new image and upload it to your WordPress site. So I'm just going to use one image as an example. Just for the fun of it. Click insert the post and you'll have an image. Now, there are other properties you can play with, but I'm just going to leave them alone. You see how easy it is. Most of the time, you can just pretty much use this page builder, basically, and you can get a lot done. So nice. We have an image over here. And on the right side here, we're going to add in the... Let's try the text block for a change. So look for text block. So a text block is basically an element where you add all the standard text that you normally see on web pages. And over here... Let's just put it, you will discover, okay? So here's what I like to do. I like to have this whole thing in bold and click insert. And here we go. And next up, we click add element. And the next thing we're gonna add, look for is the bullet block. So bullet blocks are basically those benefit points you see where they are stylized by itemized uh, sentences. And this is what bullet block does. So I always go for the biggest one here right away. And you will see that Optimize Press comes ready with a 
selection, a very generous one at that. A selection of icons you can choose. So I'm going to just, just choose this one because this looks nice. And this is where you start listing out the items. So let's go. I'm just going to put them out one by one. You will discover the, the first list here is basically you're reiterating the headline, just paraphrasing it. Four simple, easy to follow steps to creating a five figure per month internet business. So as you can see here, I'm basically paraphrasing the headline. And after that, it's followed by a few more key points that are covered in your free offer, whether it's a webinar, whether it's a book, or even in a live event. Again, this whole thing is all relevant and applicable. So the number one, little known secret to doubling your profits within the next. Again, I'm just making this up, by the way. I'm just making this up as I go along, but I just want you to know that uh, this is really important. You want to have all these benefit points drive the point home and it all this guides your visitor to actually prompt them and sign up with you next up let me just get this part of work really quick okay and we're done so if you might notice that the fonts appear a little bit small you can always change them either through the topography settings or you can edit these elements manually but i like to go with the topography settings because this is a one safe changes everything so i will change the team text to maybe size 20 and let's click update and see what happens aha now you see that the font size is bigger and it looks nicer all right now, personally, I would suggest that you have an image about the same length as the one on the right side so that it balances out. But right now, I'm just doing this as an example. Okay. Now, next up, the most important thing on the landing page is the call to action. And this is where you're going to add another element called the overlay optimizer. So this is what allows you to create a light pop-up box. So choose just that and you'll be... Given a choice to choose how you want to have the buttons look like. Now, if you're feeling a little bit lazy, you can just choose one of the default buttons or you can actually customize it. So I'm just going to choose this one here and choose the right word. Let's see. Get access now sounds nice. Okay, click insert and you have a button over here already. Let's click save and continue. Let's not forget that. And we're not done yet though. You see, when people click on this button, they're expecting a call to action of some kind. So you want to click on the edit button. And this is where you can add whatever you want uh, to appear when someone clicks on a button over there. So the most important thing right now is that you want to have an opt-in box added in. So it doesn't matter whether you're using the likes of Aweber, GetResponse, or uh, MailChimp, whatever. The first thing you want to do is you want to choose in the style for your opt-in box. So I'm just going to go with one. This looks nice. Let's now scratch that. This looks nice. I'm going to go with this. Now, this is where you add in the form HTML. So you want to be sure that in your autoresponder account, you'll add in the opt-in form over here. And it has to be a full HTML, not just some snippet or a short form script. It's going to be a full form. And you'll want to have it added here. Now you can change the other contents whatsoever. I'm going to remove this. I don't like this default text. The summit button, okay, I'm just leave it default. So what I just did here is that I pasted my own opt-in form from my own Aweber account. So again, it doesn't matter whether you're using GetResponse or any other autoresponder services. You want to paste the full HTML code here, and only then you're allowed to proceed and click insert. So there you go. Can you see how easy it is to create a landing page? And I did this all in mere minutes while explaining to you. And let's not forget, let's have one more row. Let's click at one column here. And as you know, again, click edit. 
Is it a full width row? Yes. Top padding 50 and 50. Again, these values can be changed anyhow you want. Click update. And this is where you will add links to your other pages like the earnings disclaimer and so on. So what I like to do is I'm going to call it a text block. Click here and I'm just going to put copyright, say, uh, site name.com. Obviously, this is going to be your site. All rights reserved. And next slide, I'm going to put maybe earnings disclaimer, uh, privacy policy, uh, terms of use. So it's totally up to you. And how you add a hyperlink is quite simply to select the tags, click on this uh, link icon here, this chain icon here, and you can just give it the the address or the, the, the site or the page that you're putting for the earnings disclaimer. So I'm just going to put hashtag for now. All right. Okay. And if you want this to open in a new tab, you can click on link options and select this thing called open link in a new tab. Okay. So what happens is that it will prevent people from opening on the same website, just like that. Okay, and it's ideal that you have all this align center. So click on align center and then click insert. Okay, save and continue. And let's see what the page looks like right now. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a landing page using Optimize Press. Again, take note, this was all done in just mere minutes while showing you how it's done. So once you have all the text, ready and after a little bit of practice creating landing pages and other pages like this is going to be a breeze and let's see if this is functional you click on this and there you go the open form appears all right we're done for more free educational content visit learnforfree.biz content produced and distributed by all super info